If you want to use your Digi device with a cellular connection only and connect that to another router, you'll want to configure one of the Ethernet ports to work in pass-through mode. I've logged into the DigiWeb UI and will show you how that's done. Start by going to the System tab. Click on Device Configuration under the Configuration heading. Expand the Network section and then select Interfaces. Find the Ethernet port you want to use for IP pass-through and select it. For Interface Type, select IP pass-through. For Zone, select Internal. For Device, the Ethernet port should be specified already. Click to expand Source Interfaces. Click the plus button to the right to add a source interface, which will be the source of the pass-through IP address. In this case, it will be modem. Packet filtering and the allow all addresses is disabled by default. These are optional settings that we can leave as it is. Refer to ancillary address and gateway next. This is the address and gateway you'll be directed to in the event the modem is not connected. I'm going to enter in 192.168.3.10 with a slash 24 submit for the IP address. The gateway will be the same except with a dot one at the end. For server type, select the type of server to use to pass the IP address through to the client. We're going to use DHCP, but you can also select PPPOE and fill in the corresponding fields as you see here. The rest of the settings can be left as is. Now simply click apply at the top right and give the router a few moments to apply the changes. Once your changes are applied, you'll be logged out of the web UI. At that time, refresh your connection to the Digi and check your IP address. I know our modem is not yet connected, so we should be able to reach the web UI at the ancillary address we set, 192.168.3.1. There we are. That's all it takes to enable IP pass-through on your Digi device. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos like this.